What's up YouTube? This is Mike back with another video. Today's video is I'm putting these 3M protection guards on this 911. On this wide 911. I'm putting these uh sorry for my hands. I'm putting these uh 3M guards. I already did this side and took it off. So you can see right here on these, it's the 3M. It's the 3M uh stone guard protection that protects from rock chips and everything like that. I already took it off, put that side on. I did a video on this a while ago, a couple months ago. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Explain step by step how to do it and take it off. These ones aren't as bad, so they're easy a little bit to take off. So right here, so let me see you. Let me show you here. So like this side in here, you can almost pull that bad boy off nice. Let me see. Let me put this phone right here for you guys so you can while I do it two hands. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Usually, if it's a little hard, you just use a heat gun to take it off. But since this is uh, it's not too bad and it's not rotted on there or dried up, it's coming off real easy. And it's not really no adhesive glue sticking onto the back part once I peel it off. So what I'm going to do is, just in case there is, I'll show you what I do. All right, so now, I'm gonna use this stoner. It's called Stoner Car Care. It's a tar and sap remover. I use this for everything. So I'm gonna do is just spray it on there. It's already been cleaned the car. So So let that sit on there for a second. So I just let it sit, get any glue or anything like that. And then I'll clean it up with some soap, wipe it down with soap, anything like that. And remember when you do this, you gotta make sure what, you gotta remember what you had, what was set at the old one. I've done enough of these, so I know exactly where they go at and where the marks are at. Right there. Now this is just my uh, soap and water. I soap and water it. Just wipe it clean. You know, make sure you got all that tar stuff off of it and everything like that before you put the sticker on. Make sure it's really super clean. All right, make sure that everything's clean, no spot. Now, when you put the declare guard on, you wanna make sure your hands are clean or clean gloves. So I'm gonna go get some clean gloves real quick and I should put them on. All right, so you want to make sure on um, the reason why you want to have clean gloves is because or clean hands because if you're putting that sticky um, clear the guard on and if your hands are dirty or anything like that and you touch the back of it and when you apply it on oh you have sticky dirty handy hand prints looking on it so and it won't look good so you pretty much ruin the whole sticker because it's all dirty and nasty in the back so you gotta make sure you keep that back of the stone guard super clean all right now I'm get the stone guard and my... All right, so here, now first thing I'm gonna do, spray this. I'm gonna take half of it off. It's a little windy out, so you gotta be careful too. You don't wanna touch it on anything. Make sure you do this for it because it flies up and it, you don't want it to. It's just a little windy right now, so make sure. Yeah, make sure, you, and also, yeah, make sure you got a squeegee. Make 
you got a little squeegee to squeegee it on. And you see that you put enough on there, you can just work with it. And you figure out where you wanted that. Be careful when you squeegee, you don't want to scratch the paint up or nothing like that. Slowly squeeze in all the water out. and wipe it all off and make sure you get all the little bubbles out of it and if, if you're a small little one they will come out with the sun but you get the most like 90 percent 95 percent of them out that's around the ends around here where the where the body lines at so it'll hold more water and air That's it. Not much to it. Just gotta make sure you get all the excess water out. Hey. Yeah, so that's it. And uh, I'll be done. Good to go. See? Lined up good. Lined up against the body line. The bottom gap's the same size. No bubbles. Nice and smooth, clear, no fingerprints, or anything like that. And that's how you apply 3M Stone Guard on any kind of car or anything like that, especially on this 911 Porsche. That's good. All right, guys, that's today's video. So remember, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification on the bottom. You leave comments, leave anything like that. And thank you, everybody, for watching the videos. Peace.